so I'm just fielding some more of your questions you guys left. Eric Robinson asks, Michael, thanks for all your hard work. I was meaning to ask about your high yield documents. Are they meant for step one or 2CK? Okay, so I'm going to quickly just address this question. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for Yosemite. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Now to address the question, uh, are my high yield free PDFs for step one or for 2CK? The answer is both, okay? Uh, especially if you're weak studying material for 2CK, if your scores are pretty low, uh, integrating my documents that do have a lot of step one focus will really help you out. What I did is I went through all of the offline NBMEs. When I say, okay, when I say all of the offline NBMEs, I mean minimum of six through 18 for step one. I pulled out all of the important information in combination with me improvising from my nine years of tutoring at the time of this clip and just wrote out high yield subject specific PDFs, cardio, neuro, renal, et cetera, okay? So you've got really high yield PDFs there. And when I say improvising based on what I've done just from teaching, if there's important high yield 2CK material, also incorporated that info into the subject specific PDFs. So the subject specific PDFs have a step one tilt. Okay, I'd say at least three quarters tilt towards step one. But this is where it's important to uh, talk about the overlap is that if your concepts are weak while you're studying for 2CK, you still need to go through those subject specific PDFs. I have plenty of students who they score low on 2CK assessment because they don't even know what aortic regurge sounds like or how to differentiate cardiac tamponade from pericarditis. They're missing foundational step one concepts. Well, what do you do? You can go through the subject specific PDFs that have a step one tilt, but the concepts are still the same. You still need to know what fucking cardiac tamponade is for step two, the same way you need to know what it is for step one. Okay. So as an example, so there are straight up 2CK PDFs as well. I have, I have a PEDS PDF. I have surge PDFs. The high yield mixed PDFs are internal medicine, which has strong overlap with step one. Okay. So I would just do all of the PDFs, period. Okay. Now, of course, on the step one exam, although you are less likely to get questions such as what's the next best step in management or what's the next best step in diagnosis, those are more 2CK type of questions you still need to know the information, okay? That's step two. There have been questions such as decelerations in obs showing up on the step one actual USMLE, okay? So there's questions uh, that are very surprising, um, especially on uh, the new NBMEs 25 through 30, there will be some clinical-esque type questions popping up. So if you want high scores on the step one, you should know the 2CK material from my PDFs, Okay, I don't want to get sidetracked by I don't think you should overtly study 2CK resources or do 2CK QBanks while you're studying for step one. Do not do that. But my PDFs are essentially the highest yield material for steps one and step two. Okay, there's significant overlap. The point is just read the fucking PDFs. They're going to be helpful for you. All right, I promise you they're good use of your time. So because you're obviously concerned about how to use your time, I get it. So uh, very uh, potent, those PDFs. They're on my site for free under the free stuff tab. Uh, just check them out, okay? I'm obviously going to make more clips here. I appreciate your time and subscribe to my channel. And that's it.